Good morning. My name is Advocate Mohammed Abdelouf. I'm a practicing advocate in Cape Town, and today we're following up on our series called Marriage and Divorce Simplified Series What Do You Need to Know? Today's topic will be a bit different. It will deal with the aspect regarding adoption of minor children by step parents. The reason why I chose to deal with this topic today is that many couples when they get married they come into the marriage with a child of a previous relationship it's common it happens a lot and there are many situations whereby the parties would have, would have divorced or one of the parents passed away and therefore um, the child is now with a specific parent but be that as it may a situation may arise whereby the step parent is much more involved in the child's life than the actual other biological parent. I'm not referring to the spouse, I'm referring to the parent that does not um, form part of that marriage or that equation. And a decision is made that it might be better that the step, step parent adopts the specific child. So a simple scenario would be whereby a mother she does not know who the father of the child is or she knows who the father of the child is but she cannot get hold of him and he does not want to be involved in the child's life at all she remarried she found a life partner the child possibly believes that this step parent or this life partner is her biological father and that goes on for a few years Things change, things develop, things progress, and now the specific step father would like to have more rights, more responsibilities legally um, to the specific child. There are other options they can follow. Um, I'm not dealing with that now. Um, that specific parent can um, make an application in terms of Section 24 or 23, sorry, of the Children's Act, granting him certain parental rights and responsibility to, towards the child, or Section 24 dealing with guardianship rights being assigned to him. But I'm not dealing with that specific aspect today. Um, should someone come to my office, um, I'll discuss both of those specific options to them, whether or not adoption would be the best scenario, or whether or not the assignment of contact and care or guardianship right would be a better scenario. But today we're dealing with the issue concerning adoption of minor children by step parents. So a scenario has been created. Um, the step parent believes it's best for the child that he or she now um, obtain certain parental rights and responsibilities to hold the child and would like to adopt the child and rear up the child with the biological mother. The opposite can also apply whereby the child is a biological child of the father, he marries a woman and the mother is the step parent. But for the sake of simplicity and ease I will for this webinar deal with a scenario whereby the step parent is a father and the mother is obviously the primary caregiver of the child and the father is nowhere to be found or he is in the picture and he basically wouldn't mind or consent to the child being adopted by the step parent the first thing we need to know is what are the legal consequences of adoption um, i'll refer to our website we have um, posted a article on that today you have to visit our website www.ourlawyer.co.za um, The latest article that was published today deals with that Biological parents after, sorry Can a step parent legally adopt the stepchild? What are the rights of biological parents after the adoption took place? So visit our website www.ourlawyer.co.za to get to that article and you can click read more or continue reading. I want to get to the article. Um, it starts off with generally what I said now and then it opens up with the legal aspects of adoption. So it says, by adopting a child it confers full parental responsibilities and rights in respect of the adopted child upon the adoptive parent. Meaning for all intents and purposes you are the parents of the child. It confers the surname of the adoptive parent 
on the adoptive child except when otherwise provided in the adoption order does not affect any rights to property the child acquires before the adoption meaning that the parent that adopts the child won't have any rights to that specific property or he can hold that specific property as his own it doesn't belong to the biological parents and of course an adoption adopted child must for all purposes be regarded as a child of the adoptive parent and an adoptive parent must for all purposes be regarded as a parent of the adopted child so that's very interesting and something which we just need to consider when you decide to adopt a child the article goes goes further and it explains to you who um, child uh, may be adopted what type of child may be adopted the circumstances under which a child may be adopted and if you go a bit further you can actually have a look at the full children's act that deals with the issue concerning adoption it's section 20 228 and it ends at section 253 chapter 15 it's quite extensive it's a quite a long piece of legislation dealing with the aspect of adoption then we go further the effects of adoption order we dealt with that early on and then what are the rights of stepfathers and his or her spouse after a step parent adopted the child that's a very important question because once a parent um, gives off the child and decided he or she no longer wants to be the be the you know the primary caregiver the caregiver of the child being in the sense of he's allowing another party to adopt the child once that specifically happens what happens you know what what is the legal consequences thereof? Um, of course that parent that consented to the adoption automatically have no parental rights and responsibility to hold the child uh, meaning that the child cannot inherit from that specific parent furthermore it means that that specific parents has no legal obligation to maintain the child pay maintenance have no rights to have contact with the child unless there is a post-adoption agreement that was entered into before this whole process has been entered has been concluded and a court made that specific agreement and order of court but if that doesn't happen for all intents and purposes the biological parent has no rights over the child but we're dealing here with step parents so there was a case that went came before the high court and I think I referred to that case here. Yes, that's the case. Center for Child Law versus Minister of Social Development. Basically, the long and short of the matter is um, a stepfather wanted to adopt the child. Um, he approached the children's court. They said, no, if you adopt the child, the mother will have no rights to the child. Um, the court looked at the matter and the court basically concluded that even if a child gets adopted by the stepfather or the stepparent, it does not automatically mean that the biological mother or the spouse of the specific step parent loses all the rights towards a minor child. The court can leave things the way they are and the court can make an order stating basically that um, the parent, the spouse of this person that's adopting the child, you know, holds on to his or her parental rights and responsibilities towards the child. So, in short, what the court made in order as follows, it is declared that section 233 of the Children's Act does not preclude a child from being adoptable in instances where the child has a guardian and the person seeking to adopt the child is a spouse or parent or permanent domestic life partner of that guardian. And then it declared further, it is declared that section 242 of the Children's Act does not automatically terminate all parental responsibilities and rights of the guardian of the child when an adoption order is granted in favor of the spouse or permanent domestic life partner of the guardian have regard to the discretion which section 242 affords a court to order otherwise okay so let me summarize this basically what the court said if a parent decides to let go of the child um, he is basically saying I want nothing to do with this, with this child I'm signing away all rights and responsibilities for the child to the specific father who will be adopting the child but this father is now married to the mother of the child who has parental rights and responsibilities what the court basically said was if this father now adopts the child it does not automatically mean that the mother 
having also given consent for the adoption of, of the child, loses any rights towards the child. The court can order that she retains her parental rights and responsibilities towards the child. It's a bit complicated, but basically what it means is if parties want to go that route, um, the mother remarried and she'd want the father to have, sorry, the stepfather to have certain parental rights and responsibilities towards the child. She can apply to the court and sorry for an adoption order and the court can stipulate in that specific order that she retains her parental rights and responsibility towards the child. So on the child's legal documentation, it will basically stipulate that the father is a father and the mother is a mother and both of them will have rights towards the child. I hope you found this um, video useful and if you have found it useful, please share it um, and we hope that you will visit, uh, visit this, this page again to view our next uh, webinar on the issue concerning marriage and divorces on the Our Lawyer series. Thank you very much.